Hey everyone, uh, just wanted to start us off by saying thank you for the amazing support. Uh, yesterday I uploaded my first edited video and the turnaround was incredible. In just 24 hours, 500 of you watched the video and the number keeps growing. I can't find the words to describe my appreciation for every one of you that took the time to watch it or even leave a comment. Yes, even you. I will do my best to create more interesting videos in the future, so uh, make sure to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the like button and to leave a comment to tickle that algorithm in all the right places. And with that, back to the video. Yesterday, only two hours after I posted my video, Blizzard released a new blog post uh, outlining changes coming in the near future to the dungeon system. While this doesn't change the underlying points uh, made in that video, I wanted to briefly touch on one aspect and provide an update, namely the item level range for the expansion. With the new blog post, uh, we got an overview of the new level range, which now extends to 522 for Myth 2 out of 4 gear, with the remaining upgrades uh, turning these into 528. This puts the item level range for endgame progression at 185 points. For an updated overview, this is the same number of item levels as going from level 1 in Classic, all the way to pre-heroic level 80 in Wrath of the Lich King. Due to the various level item and stat squishes since Pandaria, it is a little bit difficult to find exact numbers for all the recent expansions. Suffice it to say, however, Dragonflight seems to have the most inflated gearing range out of any expansion to date, and by a considerable margin at that. I really hope this gets ironed out soon, as I don't believe we can maintain this pace for even one more expansion, let alone three. With that small correction covered, uh, let's now dive into the blog post and explain what this means for us players. You can read the blog post yourself on the official website, and I'll include the link below if you want to get into the nitty gritty of it. The oversimplified too long didn't read for current players is that Heroic will soon become Mythic Zero, and Mythic Plus will start at plus 10. Going into more detail, Heroic difficulty dungeons as we know them today will no longer exist. Instead, these will be bumped up to where Mythic Zero is right now with the rewards updated to match. This means the difficulty spike from normal to heroic will be much higher than you are used to. This is estimated to stay the same going into the war within, so expect heroics to be a step up at the start of the expansion in particular, with the rewards likely appealing to players for longer than usual. The current Mythic 1 through 9 will be removed entirely, with Mythic 10 turning into Mythic 0. Additionally, there will no longer be a timer for this. Instead, the timer will only apply to Mythic 1 through 10, formerly known as Mythic 11 through 20. What this means is that players will now effectively be able to queue for Mythic 0 due to the difficulty change to Heroic. For those that were put off by the timing aspect of Mythic Plus, but still yearned for a higher difficulty, you now have Mythic 0 formerly Mythic 10, available to use as a means to challenge yourself or simply as a practice environment before jumping into higher tiers. As with the current system, there will not be any affixes at Mythic Zero. Note, there is still a weekly lockout here, so you won't be able to run these infinitely for gear. For the Mythic Plus range, the affixes will now kick in at plus 2, plus 5 and plus 10 respectively. Due to the changes in key range and the application of affixes, this should, in theory, make Mythic 1 through 9 slightly easier to run than they are today. To provide a short recap, Heroic difficulty is effectively removed. Mythic 0 will become the new baseline Heroic difficulty. Mythic 1 through 9 will disappear into the ether. Mythic 10 becomes Mythic 0 and has no timer or affixes. And Mythic 11 through 20 will turn into Mythic 1 through 10. Now, what do I think of these changes? 
Well, th to put it simply, these changes are interesting. With the increase in difficulty for heroic dungeons, it will be interesting to see how the community reacts to the shift in mindset when running these. Given this is late into the expansion, I don't expect anyone to really struggle with heroics at this stage, but it will be interesting to see how this affects heroics at the start of the war within. The thing I'm not too thrilled with is the weekly lockout on Mythic Zero. Personally, I would like to see this removed. While timing keys can be fun, it's not for everyone, and being limited to a single run per dungeon per week doesn't sound great. That being said, this is another aspect that I'm willing to wait and see on. We know that with War Within, a new system called Delves will be introduced. If the difficulty and rewards of this new system falls between, say, Heroic Dungeons and Mythic Zero, I would be more okay with the current lockout system. If, however, this falls short of Mythic Zero, the lockout should ideally be removed. I still believe the item level bloat and the upgrade system need to be reined in and streamlined some more. The jump from one difficulty to the next doesn't feel too great when coupled with the number of upgrades needed to complete the items collected. Even just looking through the blog post and trying to make sense of all the item levels, gear tracks and breakpoints made me do a double take to make sure I got everything right. I can't really imagine how confusing these things can be to a new player. Keeping this pace up will inevitably lead to at least one item level and stat squish going into the World Soul Saga, and having all that power stripped away and reset midway will put a lot of people off. If there is ever a time to shift direction and apply a stat squish, this should be done in the War Within at the start and avoided until the saga is over. But that's the news for now. Let me know what you think of these changes. Will this encourage you to do more heroics? Does this perhaps scare you away? Or is it just another day ending in Y for you? Leave your comments below and let's talk about it. Until next time, I'm VTX Shiva, your friendly neighborhood snow leopard, signing out.